So you guys have been, like you said, the uh, new album 13. You've been playing a new song for the Manfest set most of the tour. Yep. Uh, Public Enemy number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that a good sneak peek to what we can will be able to hear on the album? I think it's a it's a slice of what's on the album. Okay. You know, I think every song is really unique. Um, and back, kind of harkening back to like Peace Cells, Rust and Peace, Countdown to Extinction. You know, those records. Every song was a really unique tune, um, but and and together they encompassed an album. You know, and I think really all Megadeth records have had that, but especially back in those days, there was something really unique about those records um, that didn't sound like they were all just done in one chunk of time. They sounded like they were, you know, I always make an album reference, just like your family photo album. It isn't It isn't here we are, you know, one week of our lives. It's a collection of photos that is collected over a period of time, you know, and then you pull that album out and you kind of tells the story of your family's life, you know. That's what an album from a band like Megadeth is, is it tells a story over a course of time and, and, um, and there's a lot of depth to the album, musically and especially lyrically. There's a lot of, of, of depth and, and a lot of really cool song titles and some really good storytelling, which um, is, I like that. You know, I like when I hear, I listen to old Thin Lizzy records or something, and man, it like Phil and I still have these stories about going to Vegas and gambling. It's like, man, he was like some Irish guy from the UK, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's kind of cool when a guy like tells a story about something that he hasn't actually lived or done, but they're able to tell, you know, it's like a good author. You know, you read a Stephen King or a Grisham book or Coons or whatever and it's like these guys are great storytellers and it's cool to hear on the new Megadeth record that there's some great storytelling going on yeah yeah, oh, that's awesome um, so you guys have been playing uh, the main stage for Man Plus. how's that going? Yeah, it's going great, man. There's a really good variety of bands out here. Yeah. You know, the the Revolver and Jägermeister stages have what will probably be a lot of tomorrow's metal. You know, some great stuff coming up the ranks. Um, the main stage is a really wide collection. I mean, we're certainly the the elder statesman here, you know, almost 28 years ago. But then, you know, you've got God Smack and Disturbed of more, you know, well, they've already been around 12, almost 15 years. Um, Sheen Head, you know, I mean, they they really, in a lot of ways, spearheaded the, kind of the, the hardcore metal thing, you know, to a large degree. And Rob Flynn, I mean, with all the bands that he started and been in and the work that he's done over the years, I mean, he's he's a he's a real icon of, of, of metal. So it's a good spread of, of, you know, across the entire metal genre. Yeah, because you got, like, deathcore and, like, metalcore. It's a good variety this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, and like Straight Line Stitch, right? Is that their name? I think. Over yeah. On the, on the, and I mean, I hear them some afternoons, and you know, she's a really powerful front woman and yeah. really commands the audience. And and then like uh, Red Fang, I think it is, comes right after them, and they and they've got they almost sound like like corrosion of conformity or something. Yeah. And really, you know, what I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of this harkening back to like mid 90s yeah. kind of early 90s kind of tones and you know so it's, it's just cool to see that people are being inventive with it it isn't just one it's not like a hardcore metal fest or just a thrash fest where it's only one thing or a new metal festival it, it's got a really a nice wide cross variety of all this different great metal from over the years yeah definitely 